hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix fatal error or low level fatal error with the game on your windows computer so if you have the game on xbox app or microsoft store xbox game pass user can also perform steps from this video for xbox game pass user i made a separate video you can try steps from here now the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install the game on ssd this is important so if you check the minimum system requirement and it tells you to install the game on ssd so here you can see ssd is strongly recommended so install the game to ssd and then check now the next step is to remove dx11 or dx12 from the launch option so in the launch option when you go to properties in the launch option if you if you put dx11 over here or dx12 when you try to launch the game you will receive some errors so remove dx11 or dx12 from the launch options here you can see you are receiving this error so just go to make a right click on the game go to properties and remove empty this launch option do not put anything over here and then you can launch the game and then check also uncheck administrator from the game installation folder so if there is a like if there is a check mark on the game exe file for administrator you will again receive this error now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files now make a right click on this game exe file select properties go to this tab if this box is checked which says run this program as as an administrator uncheck this box and then hit apply click on ok now open this folder binaries win64 and over here also you will find the exe file make a right click then go to properties and then uncheck the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then you can launch the game and you should not receive any kind of error message so here you can see the game is launching so uncheck administrator now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you are using make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program or you can allow the complete game folder to the exception list of that particular antivirus program because this has worked for many players so it might work for you now i'm not using any third party antivirus i'm using windows security so if you're using windows security you can go to windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 go to update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps now open this folder binaries and win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select this exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on browse and then open this mw5 clans folder binaries uh, not the third party win64 select this exe file click on open now click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now this time if you want to run the game as an administrator make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then just make a right click on this exe file and then run as administrator do not go to properties and then put a check on the box so just make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and you have to do it every time and then you should be able to launch the game and then check you can even open this mw5 clans folder binaries win64 if you want to run as an administrator make a right click and then 
you can click on run as administrator and then you can click on yes and you should be able to launch the game as an administrator and you can even try but uh, yeah you can even make a right click on the game exe file select properties and this time you can go to this tab put a check over here which says run this program over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and apply and ok and then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even go to you can try windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok and then you can launch the game you can even put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check still not working so when you put a check on these these boxes not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once this verification is 100 percent complete you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete the config folder now when you delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost now for this you can open file exploding computer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder now open the local folder now over here you will find the mw5 clans folder open this folder saved folder and here you can see config folder you can make a right click and then you can delete it if you want to create a backup you can just copy this folder paste it to the desktop if you want to backup all the saved settings will be lost when you delete this so delete it and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files now when you do so when you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so only if you agree you can do this now for this again you have to go to the same location uh, so go to this location users username app data local and here you can see mw5 clans folder make a right click and then if you want to create a backup you can copy this folder you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup you can make changes whenever you want to put it back you can always put it back but you will lose all the game progress so make a right click on the game folder over here and then click on rename or you can rename it whatever you want i will just rename it dot old and then you can launch the game when you launch the game it will create another mw5 clans folder and your game will start from scratch or if that does not work you can even delete this save game folder but you will lose all the game progress and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card make sure that you select uh, your graphic card over here so once you select your graphic card then select your operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find now once you click on find it will go to another page and over here you can see at the top geforce game ready driver so the latest right now is 565.90 so you can click on view and then you can click on download now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete once this is complete restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now amd card users can first of all uninstall the current version of graphic card driver which is installed in your computer uninstall it then restart your computer and then go to amd website and then select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver and then again restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and over here click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the exe file click on add once the game is added here you can see it is added this is the game 
now click on this down arrow and select high performance you will see nvidia or amd graphic card so select high performance over here and then again click on add desktop app this time open this mw5 clans folder this is important binary is win64 select this exe file and then click on add once it is added you can find the game in the list once you see the game you can search the game if you don't find it in the list and once you find it again select high performance and your graphic card over here select high performance and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings under performance select advanced tab and then click on change now over here first of all try automatically manage paging file size for all drives put a check over here and then click on ok and then click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to settings and then this time go to advance change and then uncheck this box select the drive where the game is installed and then select system manage size and then click on set and then click on ok and it will be asking you to restart your computer so once that is done now restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart you can check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 4, now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website 
on this website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 you have to download both the file so click on it and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install now download this x64 file as well and run this exe file as well so if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and let the installation complete once both are installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to update system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have a lenovo go to lenovo whichever system you have go to their system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available download it install it in case of laptop when you update the system bios make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer during the bios update do not unplug the power cable your system will restart during the bios update and then after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using disconnect all additional usb adapter sometimes we have extra usb adapter dongle connected disconnected disconnect additional joystick or controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off and then check also if you have discord running like you're using discord you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have geforce experience running go to geforce experience settings and turn off in-game overlay so, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert tuner any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is now you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game you can switch to window mode and lower down video settings now once you launch the game you can go to options and then go to graphics now if this is set to borderless window you can switch to window mode so set it to window mode now if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more now if the v-sync is off you can turn it on and then check if the v-sync is already on you can turn it off and then check now fps limit i will set it to like 60 and if you're using nvidia dlss in that case you can now set it to quality so in my case i will set it to quality now for nvidia reflex low latency in my case this is off so you can turn it off and then check scroll down now if you're using fsr again if you're using amd fsr in that case you can set it to quality you can set amd fsr to quality and then check now scroll down now over here you can see quality settings under quality settings if everything is set to maximum uh, you can lower it down so i will just set it to medium so if everything is set to maximum you can try high or you can set it to medium or you can even go for low quality shadow quality i will set it to low you can set texture to medium or low so lower down graphic settings and then apply the settings so hit apply and then again apply now you can check the performance now the last step is to install the game to ssd as i told you before now 
uninstall and reinstall the game if nothing is working you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on uninstall now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel